You know, sometimes it's good to be boring. That's the message from a UAMS researcher on COVID-19 variants. He's part of an international team that just published big news on variants of COVID that could give us a little more insight on how long we could be dealing with the virus. THB 11 Ian Russell sat down with that researcher to break down the science behind the study. Understanding COVID-19 has been a huge piece of the pandemic and new research from UAMS is helping us understand more. The big thing we're learning, there's a limit to how much COVID-19 can mutate. And, and so I think that this is important to be able to actually tap into all of these sequences that are being done and, and being able to understand the bigger picture. It's been a year and a half of work for Dr. David Usry. Coronavirus, it turns out, is really boring to look at, but it's not changing that much. But Dr. Usry, a professor in the Department of Biomedical Informatics at UAMS, has finally reached a finish line of sorts. He, along with another UAMS researcher and colleagues from as far away as Germany, published this article on COVID-19. The short of it, there's a limit to how much COVID-19 can mutate and make variants. So the bottom line is that it's not mutating all over the place like other viruses are. And, and so we can take comfort in that. As for how they found this out, it sounds complicated, but it's simple when you break it down. Dr. Ustry and his team pulled from already sequenced genomes. That's identified samples of COVID-19 from databases all over the world. From that, only a handful of variants came back consistently. Other viruses, take HIV for example, are significantly better at adapting and changing. HIV is a kind of the classic example where you have a very high mutation frequency. But Dr. Usry's research shows that COVID-19 doesn't. That's important because it shows that there's not near as many mutations of COVID to worry about. So even though we might have after this variant, after Omicron, there might be another one, you know. Uh, and, and there might be the Omega variant or something that's going to come and, oh, it's the end of the world. Well, no, it's probably not going to be that different. Than that. So, so in that sense, it's good that it's kind of boring. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Dr. Russery says he thinks with the limit on how much COVID-19 can mutate, eventually it may just become common like the flu. And he says the easiest way to protect yourself from any of the variants is to get vaccinated.